Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. I wish you all a very happy new year. I pray that this year the desire in our hearts should be to bring us closer to God. I will be sharing with you today the offering message. God created everything to be in a cycle. He created the grass to feed the animals and the animals to feed us and in return we feed and plow the ground. The title of my message is Feed What Feeds You. How can you be eating in the house of God but sowing or feeding the casino? You cannot sow disrespect and expect to receive honor. You cannot sow greed and expect to receive prosperity. The Bible says, Whatsoever a man sows, that is what he shall reap. If you go to a restaurant and you eat in the restaurant, after you eat, you have to pay. So you have to give so that you will be given unto. If you invest in livestock, for the livestock to give back to you, you need to feed the thing that feeds you. So are we taking care of the thing that's taking care of us? You are teaching your children by how you are teaching your children to treat you how you are treating your parents. We cannot come to the house of the Lord once and expect to be fed. It is how you take care of your relationship with God that determines how you will be fed. How you feed your relationship with God is how you will be fed. You need to continually feed your relationship with God in order for it to feed you. The measure in which you feed your relationship with God is the measure that it will be fed unto you. So I leave you with this question. What are the areas in your life that you are underfunding and overexpecting? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for what you have provided us with. Father God, help us God, to give back to you in the same measure that you give to us. Lord, we thank you for this year that you have provided us with. We thank you, O oh God, that we have come out of it, Lord, alive and well. We thank you for all that you have given us, O oh Father God. Lord God, we just pray, O oh Lord, that we may be able to give unto your house and take care of your house just as you take care of us and just as your house takes care of us. Lord, help us to feed your house just as your house feeds us. Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor for there is none like you. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, praise God. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our broadcast this morning. It is so good to have you join us this morning. Most importantly, a very warm, blessed, happy, and glorious welcome to the year 2021. We praise God for this wonderful year that he has set before us. Praise God. And we thank God that he's given us the word of God on New Year's Eve as we crossed over Dr. Roshan Singh. Uh, my spiritual father, our spiritual father, who's given us the word for the year 2021 as being the year of Shafat. It will be a year by the word of God, according to the word of God, a year of favor, a year of abundance and a year of overflow. So welcome everybody. And we just, that, that is our prayer. That is our desire for you is that in this year, you will experience everything that God has in store and has planned for you and destined for you for this very year, 2021. We praise God, 2020 is behind us. And what lies ahead of us now is the year 2021. So before we go into the Word of God, I want to encourage you, get a notebook, get a, get a pen, most importantly, get your Bible. And if you can, get some communion emblems. We're going to have some communion together as we um, enter into the new year, this being the first Sunday. So whatever it is in your home, you could use water and bread, doesn't really matter. We just want to break bread together, and celebrate the Lord's table. And before we go into the Word of God, it will only be apt and right if we open up 
this morning's uh, meeting as we pray together. Praise God. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Almighty God, we thank you this morning for your abounding grace, for your love and your mercy. We thank you, Lord God, for your compassion. We thank you, O Lord God, for the glorious year that you've set before us. Thank you for the precious word of God, which is filled with all of the promises that you have, O Lord God, in store for your people. Father, we thank you this morning for everybody that is joining us, O God, according to your word, O God, where two or more are gathered, there you are in the midst of them. So we acknowledge your presence with us this morning, and I pray, Father God, that you will bless, O God, bless your people, O God. I thank you, Father, that as they hear the word of God coming forth this morning, let faith come, let encouragement come in the name of Jesus, and let hope come, O God, in Jesus' blessed name, O Father God. In your precious name, dear Jesus, we pray. God's people said, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Well, praise God. It's a glorious morning. It's a glorious day this uh, uh, today. And it's a glorious year that uh, we celebrate today. And um, I want to open up this morning in the book of Revelation, chapter number 3. And I want to read the very first part of verse number 8. The Bible says, I know your works. I know your works. God knows your works. He says, I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it. I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it. Well, praise God. God has set before us. Yes, 2020 has been a very challenging time for many of us. But as we look back, we can certainly say that God was with us. We can certainly rejoice and celebrate that we've seen the goodness of God. We've seen the hand of God. And we thank God that he has carried us through and blessed us now with an open door. Blessed us with the open door of the year that is set before us. The year 2021, the year of Shaphat. Praise God. Now, in the book of Psalms, Psalms chapter number 65 and verse number 11, the Bible says, Thou crownest the year with thy goodness. I want you to meditate on that. I want you to make a mental note of that. He says, Thou crownest the year with thy goodness, and thy parts drop fatness. I want to select three words from that particular portion that we've just read in that text. The word crown us. To crown means, it means to surround. It means to encircle. It means to compass about. So the psalmist is actually saying, you have surrounded, you have compassed, you have encircled the year with your goodness. The word goodness there speaks of welfare, the welfare of God. It means prosperity, God's prosperity. The Bible says the Lord delights in the prosperity of his people. And the psalmist here says, Lord God, you have surrounded, encompassed, and encircled the entire year with your welfare, with your prosperity. It also means happiness. It means good things. It means bounty. It means riches. It means wealth. It means beauty. God has set before you, people of God, a beautiful year. Yesterday is gone and forgotten. Yesteryear is gone and it's forgotten. Praise God. You have before you now a glorious year. You have before you now a wonderful year. And I was just pondering on that, on that this morning. Is that when God gives you something, He gives you something that is full. It's loaded with every good thing that God desires you to have. As we even consider the gift that God has given us in Christ Jesus. Jesus, the wonderful gift of salvation. In our salvation, God has given unto us our healing. He's given unto us our deliverance. He's given unto us our sanctification. Everything is in this gift of salvation. And God gives you now a gift of a new year. That means for you 
as a child of God. God has new opportunities for you. God has new things in store for you. God has new visions for you this morning. It is so important for you as you embark on this new year to change your mindset, change your mentality, change your way of thinking. And how you're going to do that is by bringing your thoughts, bringing your mind in alignment with the Word of God. Praise God. We have an entire book. God has given us an entire book loaded with promises from Genesis through to Revelation, we find there are thousands of promises for the people of God. Things that God has in store for you are all in His Word. And it's up to you and I to make a demand on the Word of God. So you can go to the Word of God. I want to encourage you daily this year. Make it a daily walk with God. Praise God. Yes, last year you probably had some New Year's resolutions or you had some things you desired to do. And many... Many people have planned that last year. But the thing is, friends, when you put God in those plans, when you put God in those desires, when you put God in those visions, you'll see them coming to pass because He is the author. He is the ultimate creator. And as you put God first in all that you set out to do, you'll see how God will begin to create that. So it's important that you keep your mind set on God. Keep your mind set on the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And he says, you crown the year with your goodness and your parts. In other words, your roads, your parts drop fatness. Your parts drop fatness. The roads of God drop fatness. The word fatness there means abundance. In other words, every path that you will take with God, God has an abundance for you. There is nothing that happens or could ever happen in your life, friend, that God doesn't know about it. God already knows what's going to happen to you this year. God already knows already what's going to happen to you in the course of this year. He already predetermined it, pre-planned it, and God has presented this year before you, he's given you an opportunity. Praise God. In the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10, the Bible says, it says thus, I want to read from verse 9 through to verse 10. Verse 9, God says, remember the former things of old, for I am God. Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is no other. I am God. And there is none like me. Surely, if you can remember the things of old, how God delivered you, how God came through for you, how God gave you victory upon victory, and how God made you triumph. And praise God. God is a never-changing God. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. The Bible goes on in verse number 10 to say, Declaring the end from the beginning. Oh, praise God. Declaring the end from the beginning. That means already, friend, you know very often what happens and the problem that we very often make is that we only focus on where we're at. And that's so important for you now, friend. Change your mindset. Don't focus on where you're at, but focus on where God is taking you to. Focus on where God is leading you to. See the end already. Begin to picture the end. Make a mental note of it. See the end from the beginning. And daily, that should be your daily walk. That should be your daily walk. That is how you're going to renew your mind. And that's how you're going to keep that vision alive. How you're going to keep that dream alive is to continue seeing what God sees. God says he declares the end from the beginning. Hallelujah. He says declaring the end from the beginning. When you look in the, in the story of creation in Genesis chapter 1, when God created the trees in verse, uh, in verse 11, when he created the trees and the shrubs, he didn't, he didn't first put a seed there. He created a finished product and he spoke to the finished product. So it's up to you and I now. Begin to see the finished product because what God has seen you, what, what God has shown you rather, what you see, what God has shown you, what you see through the eyes of faith. When you see the success that God has for you, when you see the plan and the life that God has for you, that is the end result. Focus on the end result. 
And that what you do daily, that is the seed towards that. And you're going to grow into that. And you're going to step into that. And you're going to achieve that by the grace of God. He says, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. Wow. From ancient times, things not yet done. Saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. I will do all my pleasure. Wow, praise God. God has a plan for you. God has a purpose for you. And God will prosper you in this new year. Hallelujah. The book of Psalms 119 and the 160th verse says this, Thy word is true from the beginning. <laughs> praise God. God has given you a word from the beginning of this year. And his word is true. The psalmist says your word is true from the beginning. And every one of thy righteous judgments endures forever. Everything that God has said, everything that God has decreed, it will endure forever. So friends, as I'm just thinking now, I'm just reminded um, of what we read in Psalm 65, your parts drop with fatness. I'm reminded of Boaz in the book of Ruth chapter number 2 and verse 16. Boaz speaks to his men and he says, let grain, let grain from the bundles fall purposely for her. Leave, uh, leave it that she may glean and do not rebuke her. You see that? So on purpose, Boaz caused his men to purposely just throw some grain from the bundles that they had gathered so that Ruth could go and she could glean from that. And no one was to rebuke her. No one was to stop her. And that is what God has said and has pre prepared for you this year. And I see on purpose, God will cause things to work in your favor purposely just on purpose and i call that favor that is the favor of god that is the blessing of god that is the goodness of god god has made everything beautiful in his time that's ecclesiastes 3 verse 11 god has made everything beautiful in his time and friends this is a beautiful year. This is a glorious year. My encouragement to you today is to change your mentality, change your way of thinking, change your way of operating, change the way you speak too, because there's power in your words and there's power in your thoughts and there's power in your behavior. If you're going to continue doing the same old, same old, you're not going to get new results. New results will come when you do things things in a new way. Praise God. So renew your thoughts. And how do you renew your thoughts? By the word of God. Praise God. So you renew your thoughts, renew your mind. That's the first thing that you do. Renew your language, change the way you speak. Begin to speak in accordance with what God says in his word. Don't speak what you see with your eyes. Don't speak what you hear with your ears, with your carnal ears. Speak what you see and what you've read and meditated upon in the Word of God and begin to act out, live out the Word of God. The Bible says faith without works is dead. So the Word of God, as you keep hearing the Word of God, faith is coming to you and you all of a sudden get a faith conscious. You become more faith conscious and you find that the more faith conscious you become, the more faith you begin to speak. And the more faith you begin to speak, the more you begin to operate by faith. There are things that God will call you to do this year. Things that God has laid upon your heart to do this year. And you will respond in faith. Do not respond in fear, but respond in faith. I believe that, you know, the more you do that, and um, the, more you, you, the more you develop your faith, your spirit man will grow 
And as your spirit man grows, you begin to operate according to the spirit. Praise God. And you will achieve the things that God has in store for you. And what God has declared concerning you, nobody can change that. Nobody can nullify that. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I just want to encourage you this year to make this, make this year count. Make it count. Forget about every other year. Forget about where you failed in the past. Forget about all that. Forget about what you haven't achieved in the past. I'm here to tell you this morning that by God, you can run against a troop. By God, you can scale any wall, any wall of limitation, you will scale it. And any, um, any troop that comes up against you, you will run through them. Praise God, because God is with you and he's with you in a strong and a mighty way. Praise God. Hallelujah. Welcome to the year of Shaphat. I want to encourage you now to get your communion emblems as we partake communion together this morning. Praise God. Now we understand that the table of the Lord speaks of the covenant that we have with God. God is a covenant keeping God. And that is my word to you this morning is that you are in covenant with God. And God is a God who keeps covenant with those who keep covenant with him. God has ratified a new covenant with us in the blood of Jesus Christ, his son. Praise God. The Bible says on the night when Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and after he had broken it, he gave it, he distributed it to his disciples and he said unto them, take this all of you and eat of it. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, the Bible says he took the cup and after he had blessed it, he gave thanks and he said, this is the cup of the new covenant in my blood given for the remission of the sins of the world. Hallelujah. So let us just pray together before we take communion together. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you this morning that you are covenant keeping God. Lord, we thank you that you have made a new covenant with us. You have, Lord God, written your laws on the tablets of our hearts and not on the tablets of stone. We thank you, Lord, O oh God, that this year, Father God, we have your word written on the tablets of our heart, that it will be a good year. It will be a great year. O oh Lord God, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, Lord, that the bread that we break and that we eat, it becomes for us the very body of your son, Jesus Christ. And the cup of drink that we bless and drink, O oh God, it becomes for us the very blood of your son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So, Father, we thank you now in the name of Jesus that you bless this bread, that you bless, O oh Lord God, this cup of drink, that these become for us now, O oh Lord, the very body and the very blood of your son, Jesus Christ. In your precious name we pray, amen and amen. Well, praise God. Let us partake and eat of the bread of life, the body of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for the blood of Jesus, which has given us remission. The blood of Jesus, which has given us the victory. According to your word, O God, we overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb of God, Christ Jesus, and the word of our testimony that Jesus Christ is Lord. The blood of Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise God. Well, praise God, everybody. From myself, Pastor Ricardo Finn of um, FCI Rayma Newcastle Family Church, and my wife, Pastor Sharon Finn, and our, ch and our children, uh, we'd like to wish you a very, very happy new year and as well. We also, as, we, as I mentioned, that also coming from our senior pastors and founders 
of FCI Ministries um, South Africa and Dr. Roshan Singh and Dr. Zubaida Singh and their family and all the Rama family. We just want to wish you all a very happy, blessed and joyous new year. Praise God. Until next time, this is Pastor Ricardo saying to you, God bless you. We love you very much. We pray for you always and we look forward to your great success this year in Christ Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Mm -hmm.